It seems that Saudi Arabia is sort of on course for a bit of a showdown with its other or fellow OPEC members. Yes, good afternoon, uh, Felicia. Yes, I mean, I think uh, the build-up to these OPEC summits is uh, becoming increasingly, I would say, uh, overshadowed by tension these days. Uh, reflects wider tensions in the Gulf, of course. Um, I think the reality is, as you said in your introduction there, the OPEC, cards, OPEC has been pumping uh, effectively more oil a, than their quota, and B, than some of its members seem to think is justified by the current demand situation. So you have Saudi Arabia and the core, some of the other GCC member states of OPEC uh, being very dovish on supply and saying that uh, there is no need at the moment to uh, change the quota. If anything, perhaps uh, Saudi Arabia talking about potentially raising uh, the, the targeted quota level from, from the current 30 million barrels a day and other members of OPEC saying they should be looking at, uh, at reducing the quota potentially if the demand situation continues to, uh, or sentiment on demand continues to worsen. Let's take a look at the price of oil, which has you know, been dramatically lower than one might expect, it, especially considering the sort of summer season. And frankly, it seems that Iran is sort of pointing the finger at Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and, and other member nations for actually producing too much oil. But isn't it really the concern over the Eurozone and the lack of demand that may be coming from other nations such as China? I think undoubtedly, Felicia, at the moment, demand considerations are overshadowing everything else, not just in the oil market, in other commodity markets and in uh, most financial markets. And the real concern is that you have an ongoing banking and sovereign debt crisis in Europe. The um, uh, relief provided to Spain over the weekend to the Spanish banking system had a very limited short-term uh, positive impact on financial markets. I think we're just seeing a long, drawn-out concern now about how deep this crisis uh, is going to go and how long it's going to remain in place and as long as that is the overriding narrative in the market um, and certainly if it starts feeding through into palpable signs of slowdown in the real economy which some of the latest indications out of US employment growth uh, last week are pointing in that direction then it will be uh, the main narrative over the over the summer months um, and, and that's the concern so I, I think what you have is OPEC balancing these concerns of Iranian oil coming off the market potentially uh, from the 1st of July if the European sanctions go into effect and the need to keep the market well supplied. That's the, the, the dominant position for the, for the Saudi uh, negotiating position going into this meeting. And on the other hand, other members pointing to the slowdown uh, in Europe. And it's that slowdown uh, that's, that's weighing on, on markets' minds most at this point in time. So, so ultimately, I mean, it, it seems that we'll be seeing that production levels are going to remain sort of where they are. It, what do you think is going to come out of this particular meeting? What are the headlines that we're going to, we're going to be seeing over the next couple of days? Well, I think this, this meeting, I, I think, will be the more important one will be the next one. Because I don't think, as you rightly say, I don't think we're going to see a change in the, uh, in the quotas uh, at this meeting. So I think much more will depend. By the end of, you know, as we go into the next month, you'll have a clearer picture on, on where the negotiations with Iran are going. We have the, those vital meetings coming up in uh, Moscow on the 18th and 19th of June. And um, we should have a better picture as well as to how the market is responding to the uh, political, key political development this weekend in Europe, which is the Greek election. That's going to be key to political sentiment in Europe and whether or not Greece ultimately remains in the Eurozone. So I think this meeting is really about setting out negotiating positions for the next one as much as anything else.